Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is vlog number 14 and we're just outside the container at the moment but we'll get in there shortly and in today's video I want to show you a bit of an update on what we actually do when we farm crickets so how we actually go through the process of farming crickets. We do have an older video on the channel where we actually show you guys how we used to farm crickets in the old container but I want to give you a bit of an update version on our brand new container just back here so let's get into the video. All right, so we're just in the old container here and as you can see behind me, we don't even use this container anymore. We will eventually, one day, but we're just trying to focus on the new container, getting a full container for the crickets over there. And at the moment, we're just using this one for storage. So back in the first breeding video that we put up, we did use these. Um, we're not using them anymore and I'll show you why we're not later in the video, but this container right now is just being used for storage. So we've got our egg cartons, our water feeders, our plastic feed containers and just bits and pieces, our breeding soil, trays that we need. So it's just mainly for storage now. Now I'll run across to the other container and we'll get cracking on how we actually breed our crickets. So the very first thing we do is my dad's just here and what he's doing is he's removing the breeding soils by getting all the crickets off them. Firstly, and sometimes they are hiding so we need to give them a quiet, quiet little soft gentle knock and once they're removed, we then will take these breeding soils and we run them down the other end. So all our adults and our breeders are down this end and we have all our pinheads and babies down this end. So these bins are full of these breeding soils and you can see these guys are about a week and a half old with some oranges and some food in there and they will spend the rest of their life in there and become breeders or we'll end up eventually selling them. So this is uh, the next one that we'll get into. So we'll place all these breeding soils just in here and then we'll get into the food side of things. Okay, before we go to the next stage, I just quickly wanted to show you some of our newest arrivals. And these guys are about a week and a half old and it's some of the biggest batch or most crickets ever born here at Shoebugs as well. So I'll just quickly remove these egg cartons and then we can jump in here and have a look. So you can see them all just running around there. Now we're not exactly sure how many crickets are in here. We hope and predict there's about 100,000 just because of how many breeders we have down there breeding. But we are finding that we are losing about 30% of all our babies because when we do a quick weigh, so we'll weigh these guys in future videos, but we will find that we do lose about 30% from here and then two months down the track. So that is quite interesting and we're trying to like reduce that number of how many we're losing by putting extra food in and make sure they have more water, but that might just be the case of cricket farming. So, all right, on to the next stage. So after all the oranges have been cut up, the next stage is to get the breeding soils ready and we're still using coconut husk and these plastic trays. We're finding that's the best way to get as many crickets breeding on them as possible. And we've just got a full bin here of dry coconut husk. So we just make sure that's a little bit damp before it goes in. And once we're these are all ready, we will put these in with some new feed and some new oranges for the crickets. All right, so the next thing to do is we've got our breeding soils, we've got our fresh oranges, and we've also got some fresh grain here. Now. What we do is we just quickly remove these oranges and there's just a little cricket on there, you've got to shake him off. And we put our old oranges in there, where that little scrap go just got in there. And we make sure that we give them about four slices of fresh oranges and we also make sure that they're just standing upright so they can get the full orange as well. Now. They've actually got a fair amount of food in here at the moment, so I might not put any food in this one, but just in case that they do need it, we just have the grain here ready to go. And then after, we just grab one of these breeding soils and we chuck it in here, making sure that the crickets can actually climb up onto it. So we just have that egg carton sitting there. And within 15 minutes of us leaving here, they will be more than ready to go to start breeding. They'll be all over this. So, and we also just check that they have enough water. These guys, these are our water feeders. We just have a table tennis ball in there to see the water level. 
But this is actually just the old oven rope that soaks up the water through it and they sit up here and drink it. So we just quickly put all these breeding soils in and then we'll be on to the next stage. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is actually record where our breeding soils went to and also where they came from. So we just have a notepad over here and what we do is we write down when the soils went in, when the soils went out, and what box number that they went into, and any notes, so that could be any flooding, or the soil looked dry, or just anything that we that has caught our eye. And we just make sure that we keep a pretty good record on everything with our bugs. So these are some of our old sheets back here. And this is just for traceability, just making sure they're on top of how long the crickets live for, when they stop producing eggs, and when we can sell them next. So, yeah, that's everything for the recording side of things. Okay, so that's everything for how we breed crickets in the new container. What I'll do is I'll link the old video up here and when you're watching that you'll see that we actually probably spent double the amount of time um, putting the breeding soils in and putting the food in just because instead of putting the breeding soils in here where the babies can just hatch and start running around, we would actually put them into separate containers so each one of these would be in a little separate box. So you can go and watch that old video, but this is much more efficient and we're not double handling as much. And we're able to find that we're probably getting a little bit better numbers as well because the crickets have more food and more space to run around so they don't end up eating each other. So that's it for vlog number 14. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.